Sciatic nerve. Let's talk about what was discovered recently in regards to sciatic nerve injury. Very promising research that was published in the Neural Regeneration Research, Volume 9, Number 10, this July 2014. The title of the research was this. How does L-carnitine, yes, that's the L-carnitine you recognize, the one that's normally used to transport fats to the muscle for energy, or L-carnitine is often used in liver health. That L-carnitine, the single amino acid, maintain the normal structure of sciatic nerve in nerve crush injury. Now here's where it gets a little macabre. What they did is they took diabetic rats because they tend to have the hardest time healing and they crushed the sciatic nerve. Then after that, keep on following me, I know it's kind of you know, crude, intragastric wise, I mean through the stomach, they administered 50 to 100 milligrams of the amino acid L-carnitine per kilogram body weight for the length of 30 days. And so you're looking about 50 or 100 milligrams per about two pounds, three and a quarter ounces. This is what happened after 30 days. Remember, we're just talking about a month. The axon and the myelin sheath, and a little insulation around the nerves, area in diameter after it was crushed, and we're talking the injury site, returned to similar to normal. The density of the myelinated axons itself, again, the area that was crushed after 30 days, returned to normal. The function of the injured sciatic nerve itself after the traumatic injury improved significantly in the researchers terms. What the researchers concluded after 30 days of this administration of 50 to 100 milligrams of L-carnitine, that L-carnitine out of everything else it does exhibits neuroprotective effects in the area of sciatic nerve crush injury. Now, I know this plays around with a lot of ideas of multiple sclerosis and other neural degeneration uh, diseases. However, again, this was just focused on sciatic nerve itself. Now, if interested in talking to your medical practitioner and or doctor in regards to looking at experimenting with L-carnitine, keep in mind it's 50 to 100 milligrams, so the average individual is going to be taking about seven to eight grams of this amino acid if they want to venture out on their own. Now keep in mind, this is something you need to do under medical supervision, even though L-carnitine itself has uh, virtually not, not much known as far as side effects is concerned, but each person is biochemically different with a lot of other medications. So I talk to your medical practitioner first. 50 to 100 milligrams per two pounds, about three and a quarter ounces of body weight. Again, published in Neural General Regeneration Research, Volume 9, Number 10, this July 2014. Promising research regards to in people with sciatic nerve injury, especially individuals who have been suffering for quite some time. Something to look into with your medical professional. Thank you.